You're locked in with Dexter Johnson, and this is Gospel Deets. And we are bringing the hottest deets to the streets. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gospel Deets. Gospel Deets. Gospel Deets. Gospel Deets. Bringing the gospel to the streets. Yeah, yeah. Bringing the gospel to the streets. Yeah. Gospel Deeds, welcome back to another episode. So good to have you again. Yo, last week, one with them thing, you know, Shamar, Big Chef, Chicken Alfred on them thing there. You see me? Lini! <laughs> when Lini cook, such is and potato. And win Chicken Alfred. Who are the judge? Oh, I mean. Me not be so you are, say. Food, go on good. Anyways, welcome back to Gospel Deeds. Yeah, man, be sure to check us out. Here are the sponsors. Gospel Deeds is brought to you by Dre's Body Delish, Edge Accessories, Trappings Wear, Page Magazine, Wayne's Discount Center, and Caribbean Gospel TV. So, Gospel Deeds, we're getting back into the Deeds. Yeah, man, for who never know, Deeds mean details. Yeah, short. You don't know, street talk and them things, slang and them things. Yeah, man, details, Deeds. Yeah, man, so Tamela, man, won her very first AMA Awards. Yeah, man, a big deal up there saying American Music Awards, it mean. Yeah, yeah, man, so check that out. So Isaiah 41 verse 10. Alright, for those who know them Bible, if you can write it and comment real fast, do it fast fast. Right, right now. I have a prize for you from Trappings Rear. Check it out now. Yeah, man. No, the reason I'm bring up that verse there. Alright, so this was highlighted as the most used verse for the year. Yeah, man. You know the U version Bible up thing? Yeah, man. Especially in the period of the World War. Yeah, man. The Ukraine thing and everything. Yeah. We really see what highlighter come out. And when you read the verse, you'll understand why. Yeah, man. So go and read in the Bible. Read your Bible. Pray every day. And you will grow. Grow. I'll grow bigger than me too. Now, Jamaican born artist, K. Anthony. Yeah, man. K. Anthony. Jamaican born, you know. I not even didn't know that. As a matter of fact. So, Gospel Song of the Year at the 42nd Annual GMA Canada Covenant Awards. Yeah, man. The man gets it. Yo, big up. Jamaica people, anywhere them there. Zimmy, Little and Talawa. Yeah, man, we always excel. Quality come from our country, you know. Quality. So, the MOBO Awards. No, a big awards, you know. As a matter of fact, if you can tell me what MOBO means, I have an express for you. Check it out. No, the Gospel Act. Yeah, we get something. So, Gospel is excelling. Yeah, Zimmy, the Gospel Act still shady. Got his award. Yeah, man, he was a winner for that era. So, the MOBO Awards. You can check it out. Popular American group B2K. We remember that, ladies. We remember that. We know, you know. Watch, watch, you know. Watch, you know. We'll never see him like that. Anyways, the member of that group, J. Boog. Yeah, man. He now says yes to Jesus Christ. God is 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 doing a lot of things. He continues to work on on, on people's lives. So we are going to pray for the youth, them. Yeah, man, definitely. All right. So do you have a song? Don't limit yourself. No. Popular artist Marvin Sapp. And his production team, they are willing to look at new artists, new songs, new sound. Now, submit your songs. They are accepting song submissions. Yeah, man. You can see the detail right on that fly right there. So don't be shy. Yeah, man. Step out in a feet, no? Now, as we step into local news, now, look at this. Love in the morning, 5 to 10 a.m. Check out the bridge. Juka, big up yourself. Reach for a radio of a boss. You see me, I said. So go and listen to the radio station at them. Yeah, man. Love. And Gospel J.A. And see you and everybody. You get to me, I said. Yeah, man. But check that out. 5 to 10 with Juke Alda. Love in the morning. Now, welcome to this EP launch. Yeah, man. New music again. Uh, from Vivian Barnaby. Presents You Won't Let Me Fail. December 9th. Also featuring Officer Mullings and one of the singing police. Yeah, man. Featuring Michael Malachi and Petra K. Yeah, man. With host Markland Action Edwards. Yeah, man. Gates open at 7. And guess what? It is free. It will be held at Worship and Faith International Fellowship. Check out more details. Now, one of the most talked about events. The well. I don't care. I'm a well. I'm there. I'm a joke. <laughs> now, listen. Check out this event, yeah, man, featuring uh, the likes of Maverick City's Chandler Moore and Naomi Rain. 
along with popular artists such as Kevin Downswell, Carlin Davis, Rondell Positive, Rhoda Isabella, and maybe more, you know. But this will be happening at the National Stadium, so there's space for everybody, so make sure you are there. Yeah, man. Tickets, you can find the information on spuropen.com. And you, you, you put the little slash thing, you see me? T-W-E, as in the well encounter, 22. Yeah, man, you can get all the details there. December the 10th, check it out. Now, as well, on December the 10th, yeah, man, check it out. Glory to God in the highest. This event will be in Brownstown, yeah, man, Addison Park Sports Complex. Now, this will feature the likes of Kevin Downswell and Rondell as well, and Rhoda, just the same, as well as Minister Howdy, Kukudu, Sebastian, you know, Lionel Tate, and, and so much more. You know, with hosts like Marsha and MC Teddy, as well as the Unity Singers will be there, Minister Sheehan, big of herself. Now, check out the admission. It is free! Yeah, man. So, Brownstone, I keep big things starting 6 o'clock. You can check the details. So, the Jamaica prophetic invasion. Yeah, man. Something that happened some time ago. Now, check these highlights with Prophet Ed Branson. Out. Come out. Out. Come out. Out. Come out. Out. Come out. Look at that. Look at that. Out. Look at that. Out. Look at that. Ashes. Out. Help. 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 Coming out. Let me go. Family altars. That tied me in cages. I'm coming out. Oh, that took it long. Okay. Let me give you a serious one. Okay. You can do this. Sometimes, yeah, man, when I'm watching a sport, football, we always see players doing the cross and making, you know, their, their gestures to heaven. But I, I bet you'd be surprised of some of the popular superstars of football who are actually Christians. No, check this out. And now that we're on the topic of football, hear what is on my mind. <laughs> Watch. That's me looking for Germany. <laughs> now listen to my good friends who are in my contact, you know. All the German fans, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't feel, you know, matter of fact. No, I'm not sorry. Because when World Cup did I start, everything, when you just remind me about the 7-1 and be something, because I'm a Brazilian, you know, so nobody's more excited than me to see Germany go up. You understand? Everybody at Tembo, this 7-1, what you going to do this, what you going to do that. And as a matter of fact, hear these threats and, and, and this voice note from popular recording gospel artist Alicia Taylor. No, listen, listen what she said to me. Listen to this real fast. I'm going to block you. I'm going to block you. I don't watch. I do not watch gospel deeds. Because you are just too much. You're too much for me. I can't manage. So every time I say gospel deeds, I just skip the page. I just move on. Because tell me why you have to be, you have to be this ex. Just tell me why you have to be like this. Mm? It is unnecessary. People in the ear be tennis? When you hear that? Sorry. I'm sorry, Alice. It doesn't fit you. It doesn't suit you well. But if you had known better, my God, you would never carry a side like Germany. Come on, man. You ever know better than that? Now, listen. Germany coming like when, you know, your mother said, pick the guy's shop and then come on back with nothing. Then, then, then. 
never feel go back again because they never get where they get. You see me? So right now, my producer in a shambles, my team, my team kind of mash up right now. So Vanessa have to come and set and try to help. But the problem is, Vanessa is also a German fan. So everything I go around. You see, if that, if that episode has spoiled, I feel them fall. We can tell her that right now. You see me? But we can't talk. We can't talk. Look at Japan man them enough. Thank you so much for making my life so well. You know what I mean? Yo! Not no sweet, my son! But what I know? All who did things, eh? Saudi Arabia really never make it show. Look at sad mistakes. So stop which bad for the greatest baller. Man, tap your group there and go and show. One, two, no. Big up Morocco as well. You see me? So, for those who are in the final 16, we can continue to talk about football. You know what I mean? It is. That's, that's it. Gosh, you need You're the best man that needs this. Yo? Oh, I don't know. Spirit, lead me unto level ground I will be. So we're back to the beat of the deed, yeah, man. This song by uh, Pastor Mills and uh, featuring it's featuring his wife actually, Paula Mills, yeah, man. Check this out, unto level ground. Teach me to do your will. Spirit, lead me until level ground I will be. My spirit grows and faint. My heart within me is dismayed. I meditate now on your awesome words. The blessings your Parched land, I am thirsty. And sermon, Lord, I pray. Don't hide your face, my spirit falls. Your love unfails each day. Each All right, so guys, remember. Youth for Christ, we are in 75 years. Yeah, man. So we're celebrating. I was celebrating hard. And guess what? The Youth for Christ international team decided to come to Jamaica to be a part of this grand expedition. You get me? I say, so what if things are going? What if niceness? So we would have banquet. You get me? I say, so we'd have put on pretty clothes and then something there. You see me? And then we had a night of entertainment. You know. So it was a whole vibe. You know, we were there from about what Thursday to Sunday, I believe. Yeah, man, and they came through and made the best of their experience in Jamaica. Now, here are some highlights of all that took place. And you're going to hear from some of the, the people worldwide as well, you know, the International Caribbean Director and all them people. So, what about people? What about title and everything there? As a matter of fact, did you guys know that I'm the St. Catherine Director for Youth for Christ? Yeah, man, some actually responsible for St. Catherine. You get me? I say so, like, sports and talents and activity and everything there, you know. So, guess what? Next, you know what, I got talking now, Rick. No, check this out. Hi, my name is Larry Williams, and I am from um, Brule, Wisconsin, in the United States. I work with Youth for Christ International. My role there is as a regional director for North America, which means I work with Canada YFC and YFC USA, helping keep uh, them aligned with and engaged with the global Youth for Christ movement. Hi, good evening. My name is Godwin Altador, originally from Miami, Florida. But now I'm the executive director at Youth for Christ Haiti. My name is Daniel Peel. I am the national director for Youth for Christ Puerto Rico. Hi, I'm Maureen Price, and I'm the director of operations with Youth for Christ in Canada. Hi, everyone. My name is Rachel James. Um, I'm part of Youth for Christ Trinidad and Tobago. I am an executive administrator as well as a coordinator, one of our prayer coordinators. Hola, my name is Mayra. I'm from Colombia, but I have been living 
all over Latin America. I live in Argentina, in Brazil, now I live in Guatemala, and I have the privilege to serve as the area director for the Americas. My experience here in Jamaica has been amazing. Uh, coming from a nation that is um, just getting started, to come to a nation that has 75 years of rich history has given me inspiration. It's showing me what we can be in 75 years. Um, I look at the kids, I look at the leaders and the volunteers, and it just gives me hope. And, and out of that, I really want to, um, I was really blessed coming to Jamaica Youth for Christ and hearing about the Rapid Prayer Army. I would have um, been part of your Zoom prayer meetings, but I wasn't aware of the fact that it's young men of God. And the power of that by itself is really amazing. I love YFC Jamaica. For me, you guys are the living example of the joy of the Lord is my strength. So I love to hang out with you guys and learn from you. And uh, I have to say that you have the best chicken in the world. I love jerk chicken. Um, this is my first trip to Jamaica and experiencing Youth for Christ here. And it has been amazing and enlightening and so encouraging for me. Youth for Christ Jamaica is like the mark for us to hit because celebrating 75 years, th this, is, this is what we're, we're striving for to be able to say we've been around for years and years and years. So I use Jamaica, Youth for Christ Jamaica, all the time when I'm talking to students and talking to people who wanna partner with Puerto Rico to talk about um, the longevity of Youth for Christ. And it's an honor to be able to say, Youth for Christ Jamaica has been serving faithfully for 75 years. Since being here in Jamaica, I've been so encouraged by watching the ministry that's here on the island. It's a breath of fresh air to see the love of the Lord in the hearts of the young people of Jamaica. And it's encouraging to us to know that hopefully 70 years from now, Youth for Christ Puerto Rico can have the same legacy and the same longevity that we see here on the island of Jamaica with the youth. We just have a huge prayer in our hearts for the youth of Jamaica that they would continue seeking the true only God, the God that can redeem and restore. And we just believe with all of our hearts that he's on the move here in the hearts of the youth of Jamaica. I love being in Jamaica with YFC because here's what I've realized, that you folks know how to have a good time and you know how to make ministry happen to young people with very little resources. And I'm always amazed at how far your work goes and how far your stretch is. And I think it's fantastic. And I wish Jamaica YFC many successful years ahead. Well, I, I, I love the Ministry of Jamaica Youth for Christ. I have been associated with it for 30 years. Uh, I used to be the director of Project Serve for YFC USA. We'd bring mission teams down here many each summer. And so I've gotten to know many of the YFC staff and board members over the years. And uh, I, one of the things I really appreciate uh, is their, how innovative they are. Uh, there are many different models of outreach to reach uh, young people. And uh, some things like the Talent for Christ contest that has just for, for decades, a generation after generation of, of Christian artists. Uh, I, I, mean, I just, uh, I really appreciate the, the way that they are uh, don't feel bound to convention, but can explore new ways to reach young people with the gospel. And we came here and we are blessed to see all the talents that the people of Jamaica are demonstrating all around this year and these days that we've been visiting. So we are full with a lot of ideas, a lot of emotions to transform our Youth for Christ Puerto Rico, but with the guidance of what we've learned from Youth for Christ Jamaica. So I am more than blessed and I am happy to be here and to be so more welcome from this family. So I'm going back home today with this motivation, with this inspiration to try to instill within our organization so we could be great like Youth for Christ Jamaica. Usually with things that get older, they start to deteriorate, but with Youth for Christ, the older it gets, the better it gets. So it's an honor, it's a privilege to be here and to be a part of Youth for Christ Jamaica, and I will definitely be back. My name is Daniel. And you're watching Gospel Peace. All right, so in my closing, now I'm gonna celebrate this time with love. I'm gonna talk about one of my favorite love songs.
Tim, Tim, Tim. Did it them, Tim, Tim. Who know that song there? I don't know them truth. Actually, I don't know them song there. You lost? What else? I don't know them song there. Let me try it again. Tim, Tim, Tim. Did it them, Tim, Tim. I don't know who know it. Because I'm clueless. I can't help smiling when I look at you. It's one of intro, intro classic. You can't listen, man. Anyways, the reason I talk about love, now my parents, you know, I'm love for no. Now they're celebrating 33 years. Yeah, man. So, congrats to my mom and dad, Reverend Dexter Johnson, and soon to be Reverend John Johnson. Ha <laughs> ha! Two parents of a pastor. We can't believe this. Anyways, mommy and daddy, no love, big up on yourself. And as you guys know, my father is as well the national director for Jamaica Youth of Christ and host pastor for St. John's Road Church of God in Jamaica. So, yeah, man. Ashley, sing for your mother. Means you have to cook tomorrow. You have to cook. So Don't make touch you go in the kitchen. Please. Make him do vegetable and wash the pot. You understand? Me, we come make you juice them. So. <laughs> My eyes are too choppy kind of, and there's some cranberry and everything there. Anyways, that's it for Gospel East. Thank you so much for being a part of it. Yeah, man, we'll see you next week. Something different, some different vibe. You get what I said? No, yourself. Oh, what about things are going on? Know. Believe me. Yeah, man, check out the details. Continue to share, like, and subscribe. Love you. Gospel Deeds is brought to you by Dre's Body Delish, Edge Accessories, Trappings Wear, Page Magazine, Wayne's Discount Center, and Caribbean Gospel TV. You're locked in with Dexter Johnson, and this is Gospel Deeds, and we are bringing the hottest deeds to the streets. Gospel Deeds, Gospel Deeds, Gospel Deeds, Gospel Deeds. Bringing the gospel to the streets, yeah, yeah. Bringing the gospel to the streets, yeah.